The 1938 debut of the Phantom Corsair was far more significant than just another attempt to predict the future of automotive design. Its striking individuality and remarkably clean, almost impossibly pure lines rightfully place it among the short list of the best automotive design creations of the 20th century. Its appearance is a hymn to laconic perfection of form. From the front bumper to the furthest point of the rear, the body surface is unmarred by a single unnecessary detail. There's no room for chrome trim, moldings, or brand emblems, all the usual adornments, and often over-adornments, of cars of that era. The front is graced only by small headlights and 12 stylized laurel leaves, elegantly replacing a traditional grille. The name, image, and characteristic features of the Phantom Corsair are so unusual that the car seems to have stepped straight out of a science fiction novel. And most astonishingly, this sensation remains unchanged today. Nearly a century later, the design not only hasn't aged, but looks more than worthy at any modern auto show, easily competing with the most advanced concept cars. Creating such an outstanding automobile required not only exceptional talent, but also incredible boldness. At first glance, the biography of Rost Hines, the car's commissioner and de facto designer, wouldn't suggest such achievements. As the second child in the family of a wealthy Pittsburgh millionaire in the condiment business, Heinz enjoyed the benefits of financial independence from a young age. However, he didn't simply squander his inheritance, he channeled his energy into creative pursuits. He independently designed and built racing boats, participated in competitions, made valuable contacts, and received an education at prestigious institutions. Specializing in shipbuilding, he didn't finish his studies at Yale University, opting instead to move to sunny California. There he started a family, acquired a home, and opened an industrial design studio. It was in California that he met Christian Bauman and Morris Schwartz, owners of a thriving coach-building workshop, with whom he realized his ambitious Phantom Corsair project. Heinz's initial sketches and models only set the general direction, while Bauman and Schwartz contributed their unique artistic style, perfecting every detail. The barely perceptible ridge running the length of the body, the completely enclosed wheel arches, the unique placement of the side windows, the three cone-shaped protrusions at the rear, every line, Every facet of this car speaks to deep thoughtfulness and impeccable craftsmanship. Aluminum panels, hand-formed over wooden templates, were used to create the body, which was then mounted on a steel tube frame. This structure was placed on a chassis manufactured by a Californian company. The interior included multi-layered sound insulation made of cork up to one and a half inches thick, covered with an additional layer of rubber for maximum comfort and noise reduction. In the final stages of assembly, Heinz purchased a used 1936 Cord 810. Its eight-cylinder V-shaped engine, along with the transmission and front drive axle mounted on a separate subframe, was integrated into the Phantom Corsair's design. Several other components were also sourced from the cord, including the rear axle, interior trim elements, and the instrument panel. Instead of traditional door handles, electrically operated lock buttons were installed. The doors opened and closed using a hydraulic system, and small panels above the side windows rose when the door pillars were pressed, simplifying passenger entry and exit. The entire assembly process took approximately a year of dedicated work. However, the first tests revealed some flaws. The main problem was engine overheating. It turned out that the narrow laurel leaves on the radiator grill didn't provide sufficient airflow for effective cooling. To solve this, an additional cutout had to be made in the front bumper, the radiator replaced, and a specially designed fan installed. Another drawback was the extremely limited visibility due to the small size of the windows. The original design didn't even include exterior rearview mirrors. While straight-line driving presented no difficulties, 
Any maneuver became a challenging test for the driver. But these minor shortcomings didn't dampen Heinz's optimism. The Phantom Corsair appeared on the cover of the March 1938 issue of Motor Age magazine and played a small role in a long-forgotten film. The following year, it was presented at the World's Fair in New York, gleaming in sparkling black lacquer. However, Heinz's plans for mass production never materialized. In July 1939, he was involved in a serious car accident and died from his injuries. The family didn't need the car, and it was given to one of Heinz's friends, who in turn sold it to a used car dealer. After that, the Phantom Corsair changed hands several times, and in the 1950s underwent significant modifications that significantly deteriorated its original design. In 1970, the car finally entered the collection of renowned car collector Bill Hera, where it was meticulously and flawlessly restored to its original condition. Heinz, without a doubt, would have appreciated the quality of this work. Now, the Phantom Corsair is a priceless exhibit at the National Automobile Museum in Reno, Nevada, serving as a tangible monument to its talented and visionary creator.